there, Mr. Tackage. Um, I was just wondering, after uh, 20 years, why you continue to support uh, the hometown Pittsburgh Pirates? Um, well, there's there are several reasons. You you said one of them, uh, hometown. Uh, I'm proud that I'm from from Pittsburgh, from Southwest Pennsylvania, and uh, you know I'm of the opinion that you have to support the hometown team. Uh, now I know a lot of people around the area here at Ohio. You know, they're, they're Cleveland fans, and uh, there's kind of a rivalry between the cities, or the states at least. And a lot of people would say, a lot of people would say that, uh, oh, well, you, you've, you've, you're the Steelers and the Penguins, so um, the Pirates, you know, you can, it's fair that they lose. But to me, like, personally, I love every team that I root for individually. And the fact that the Steelers and Penguins have done well over the last decade doesn't really doesn't really help me feel better about the Pirates losing. So, you know, I, 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 I've, I've always loved the Pirates. Um, they were the first uh, professional sporting event, I, the sporting team I ever saw play. Um, and it's just one of those things where, you know, you're, you're rooted to your home city. You uh, want to see them succeed. You want them to represent your city well, especially in our case where we're a small market team, haven't had success in a while. At this point, it's kind of like we're like for the last couple of years, it seemed like we're a little train that could, and it's been tough before. But now, um, getting a taste of success for two years in a row, it really like puts that puts that taste in your mouth, like like you like you want it. And I'm, I know I'm super disappointed about the outcome of this season, but I I know I'll be right back right back to all in April next year. Well, well, Mr. Tech, I understand you must be, you're a huge sports fan, clearly, and especially from uh, all the teams in Pittsburgh. Is there anything in particular that you think that the Pirates need for next year where they can be actual contenders in the World Series? Um, that's a tough one. Um, there's a couple things they need. There's a couple things that they're lacking. Um, obviously, you look at their, their lineup on paper, they don't look like the kind of lineup that jumps out to you as a World Series or even a pennant contender. And then yet, um, you see them put up the, the top run scored numbers in uh, June and maybe July, I'm not sure about July. But they had, for a substantial portion of the season, the most runs in baseball. The Pirates the last two years have all been about runs. And I don't mean, I don't mean runs scored, I mean like momentum. And, um, pattern. There have been the last two years. It's been the pitching has excelled early, and the hitting has come on towards the middle of the season and take it over. And then by the end of the season, everybody kind of just fades. And last year it was kind of like so unexpected that we would be doing so well that when um, when August came and they fell apart, it was discouraging, but you look forward to the next season and you think, okay, they're going to be they're going to be right in the race next year. And the way this year started, it was even better. Um, we had all of our pitchers pitching at the top of their level. One of our starters even went down early and it just picked right up. We had one of the lowest team ERAs. Our bullpen was amazing. Halfway through the season, we started hitting the ball like crazy. We're 17 games over 500. We're challenging for the division. There's no way we're going to be under 500 this year. And then this was just the most deflating series of a month and a half I've ever been a part of as a sports fan. Just seeing that that win percentage dwindle every single day, it seems like it just hurts. Um, as for what they need for next year, I mean, I'm not a professional GM, and baseball is the baseball is a sport where it's sometimes the hardest to identify. I think so many players contribute, and there's such a wealth of equal talent out there. Um, I think more than anything, we need depth. And I, I think that the lineup that we have right now, may, maybe we might need a first baseman. I think we need a, a solid first baseman and maybe a better average hitting shortstop. But um, overall, our outfield is solid. Um, Neil Walker, Pedro Alvarez on second and third are great. Our starting, pitcher, our starting pitching rotation, if they can put together for a full season, is fine. But if we have that depth and Clint Hurdle has the ability to work it in in the earlier months 
maybe you won't see that, that downfall that we've seen the last two years. Um, at this point of the season, a lot of people are banged up. They've started to bring in the backups, the minor league guys. I think that has a lot to do with the losing stretch they're on right now and why almost assuredly they'll finish the season under 500 again. Well, thank you, Mr. Tagic. I, re I really appreciate you talking with me today. Um, and we keep the, the Pittsburgh Pirates in our hopes and dreams for next year. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers as well. Can we get an obituary? Possibly. That's in the works. Thank you very much.